a short problem. The following is the balance sheet of A and B as on 31st December. Capital accounts are 10 lakh, sorry, 1 lakh, 1 lakh and 80,000. Building 1 lakh, furniture 30,000, stock 50,000, debtor 60 and bank 40,000. On admission, C brought 60,000 as capital. Assets and liabilities revalued. 6,000 included in creditors is no longer a liability. So if it's not a liability, we will remove the liability. So we'll say creditors account debit to revaluation. 4,000 due to creditors not included in the list of creditors. So we have to bring it in the creditors. Revaluation account debit to creditors. Contingent liability had to be paid. So it becomes revaluation account debit to bank. Assets are then revalued, building has increased, stock has decreased, <coughs> debtors, debtors has come down, it's assumed to be a provision for doubtful debts, we will create a provision account, show revaluation account, partners capital accounts and balance sheet after revaluation. <coughs> I'll quickly go through the journal entries. I'll prepare the journal entries and we will look at the effect in the accounts thereafter. C has brought in capital. So cash account debit to C's capital. That is one. Amount is 60,000. Next for re- 6,000 included in creditors, no longer a liability, that is creditors account debit, amount is 6,000. I am doing all the profits together, this is 6,000 is a profit, this is a loss, this is an additional liability, this liability had to be paid, building, this is also again, I am writing it together, building account debit, the value has increased by 20,000. To revaluation. How much is this? 26,000. What else has happened? 4,000 due to creditors is not included. So I have to bring that into the books. Revaluation account debit to creditors. Amount is 4,000. Contingent liability had to be paid. So revaluation account debit to bank. I'm paying the amount, I'm not creating a new liability account, I'm paying it. So revaluation account debit to bank. So this is taken care, this is taken care. Stock value has come down, so to stock by 10,000 it has come down, it was 50,000, it's become 40,000. And to provision for doubtful debts, <coughs> an amount of 4,000. We are creating a provision, it is a revalued assume that it's not been written off only a provision has been created <clears throat> 15 this becomes 19,000 so there is a profit of 7,000 revaluation account was debited by 19,000 this is a loss increase in liabilities and decrease in assets but we made a gain of 26,000 therefore the net profit is 7,000 revaluation account debit to A and to B. What is the profit sharing ratio? Nothing has been mentioned. Therefore, we assume it is equal. Revaluation account profit is 7,000, 3,500 and 3,500. <clears throat> what is the effect of all this? The effect of all this is that Building would have increased in value 1,20,000. Stock would have come down in value to 40,000. Debtors would be shown at 60,000 less provision for doubtful debts of 6,000. And the bank balance money would have come in amounting to 60,000. So we have 40,000 plus 60,000, 1 lakh and 1,000 which has been paid. Therefore, bank balance should actually be 99,000. Similarly, there would be a change in A's capital account since it was 1 lakh plus we have 3,500 and B 1 lakh plus 3,500. Creditors, there has been a change. 
there has been a reduction in creditors by 6,000 and an increase in creditors by 4,000. Therefore, that is 78,000 would be the balance of the creditors. This would be the result of all the entries that we have passed. Let us take a quick look at the NITA presentation. Revaluation account debit to creditors, increase in liability, creditors not in the list, revaluation, this is paid, contingent liability paid, stock was undervalued, sorry, we had to reduce the value of stock by 10,000 to debtors, we will write this as provision for doubtful debts, 4,000. Creditor 6,000 and building 20,000 so that we had a total gain of 7,000 distributed equally to A and B. <clears throat> this is the revaluation account. What happened in the partner's capital account? 1 lakh, 1 lakh brought down. C brought in 60,000. Revaluation was given to A and B. Therefore, this is the balance in the capital accounts. Capital accounts 1 lakh 3500, 1 lakh 3500, and C 60,000. And creditors that we had discussed before, it was 80 and it has become 78,000 now <coughs> because of these two entries. Building increased in value, furniture is the same, stock 40,000, debtors less, provision for doubtful debts is 56,000, bank as we had said is 99,000. This because 60,000 brought in and 1,000 paid as some contingent liability which was paid. So 99,000 total. This is the final balance sheet after C is admitted and profit on revaluation has been effected. <laughs>